Hi, welcome to uh, my video on lubricating the landing gear on a fifth wheel. Um, some people may find it a little bit intimidating uh, looking at it you know, from the start, but um, it's actually not that difficult. Uh, there's some people that uh, go ahead and disassemble the landing gear and pull it completely out to lubricate it. I would say that's probably not a bad idea if you're experiencing some binding up or any issues like that. You want to definitely get in there and get any rust uh, cleaned off of the screw so you don't strip out the nut that's inside there. But uh, for general maintenance, I think I found a rather simple way of doing it. Uh, I started by hooking the fifth wheel up to the truck so that I can take the weight off of the landing gear and uh, retract it 100% up and um, then we're going to go ahead and start some disassembly uh, to get the grease up on the screw. I'm going to start by showing you a couple of things that I got. Um, obviously no advertising here. This is just products that I picked up. Um, I got some tubes of grease, gloves, obviously it's a messy job. A little bit of uh, lubricant spray um, that we can throw in on the screw towards the top and obviously grease gun. And what I found is this is a piece of um, three quarter inch plumbing pipe insulation and it fits just uh, loosely over the screw. So what I've done is it's a split insulation. So I was able to fill the inside of that insulation with grease and slide it up over the screw. And we'll give you a shot of that here in just a few seconds. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to get the foot and the adjustable leg out of the way. So mine happens to have the uh, pull pin. I'm going to go ahead and drop this down. And as long as it's high enough, it should come out for you. I'm going to set this off to the side. Now up inside here, um, about five inches or so up, is the end of the screw. And the screw rides on a nut that's on the uh, extendable leg. So there's another leg up here that will come down as you uh, raise and lower the landing gear. So what we're going to do is I've got my insulation, it's packed full of grease, and I'm going to slide this right up inside here, and it's going to line up with the screw. What I got to do is I got to pull this pin, and it's going to go right on up in there. So hopefully you can see this, it's sliding up that screw right now, and it's going to bottom out. So there's there's the nut and what I've done is I put it, um, a little bit of grease on the very top edge of that foam so that it'll grease that nut area give it a few turns and I'm gonna slowly turn it as I'm pulling it out so that the grease gets into all the threads and it doesn't leave just a, a blank spot on one one part so this hopefully will give it full coverage. I'm going to do this probably three times um, just to make sure. And I'm not going to fill the whole tube full of grease the next time. I'm just going to put it in the end to slide it up. All right, so this is our, our third time. I'm going to pull the pin. I'm going to send it up. Got some more grease on the very edge. Put it all the way up in there. Give it a good turn. And we'll start pulling it out. Now I've seen I've seen several different ways of doing this. Some people have gone to the hardware store, bought a one piece or one inch piece of uh, plastic hose, and rigged it up with a fitting and a zork fitting and all that. Um, I think it probably cost them, I'm guessing twenty five or thirty dollars anyway. Um, and I've seen people take a piece of PVC pipe and cut it in half and run it up and just spin it around the screw. Those are all probably, you know, fine ideas. This was pretty cheap, found this um, in the trash actually, and uh, thought it would work pretty good. So all I've got invested in this is uh, the grease and some time and uh, hopefully the knowledge that I've passed on here helps out. Um, all right, so now we can go ahead and uh, put our leg back in. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to run the landing gear up and down um, to work the grease into the nut and 
make sure that everything's running smooth and uh, once we're done with that we'll go ahead and spray some lubricant in the top and also we're going to go over the uh, top end of this landing gear which has um, some gears in it that will definitely need to get lubed up as well. Okay, so we're going to run the landing gear up and down. As you can see, it's running pretty smooth. It should have a nice, even, smooth action all the way down. Um, like I said, if you have any binding when you begin, uh, you really should probably pull it apart and clean any rust that may be forming on the screw. Um, greasing will help it, but it's not going to be a permanent fix for it. The other thing you're going to want to do is you can see this leg coming down, you can see there's grease on it. So once you get this leg all the way down, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and brush some fresh grease on it, wipe it down, make sure there's no sand or anything on it, and uh, put some fresh on it. It's good, good preventative maintenance to keep everything running smooth. So as you can see, this was nice and even, nice and smooth, all the way up and down. And we'll go back up. There's no binding at all on it, which is good. You don't want to have it binding up that's going to start damaging things. You could possibly strip out the nut, strip the gears, burn out the motor, several different things. Okay, next is uh, getting to the gears on top of each leg. Um, what you probably need is a uh, flathead screwdriver and there's a cap. You can see I'm putting the screwdriver underneath the lip and it pops this cap up. Now. My leg is on the gas side of my cargo hold, so the lip is uh, accessible through the center cargo hold. So I'm gonna go ahead and spin around here. And you can see that cap, so we're gonna go ahead and finish popping that cap up. That off, okay, so now, you can see in the top, we've got some gears. Hard to see the other gears that are in there, just not a lot of light. But anyway, there's uh, some, I guess, planetary gears that uh, turn the screw. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and spray a little bit of that liquid lubricant down there so it runs down into the top of that nut. Um, just, it's going to be an extra help. And then we're going to go ahead and grease all those gears that are in there. All right, so we're going to spray some of that lubricant down in there. We're going to try to get it right in the middle so it runs down that screw. There's also a bearing that's on this edge here. We're going to get a little on the outside of that. And a little bit on the back side of that gear that you saw in the, in the, video, or in the video earlier. We're going to spray this down in there. It'll run down that screw. All right, so next, we're gonna get our grease gun. And this is gonna be a little, little tough to do, um, holding onto the camera. As you can see, grease gun, I'm just gonna put it in the top. All right, so here we go with some grease. And we're just gonna start by getting a bunch on this first screw. have to be pretty with it. It's gonna, it's gonna work its way in. Probably the more you get in there the better. So it's just gonna keep working its way in as it settles. I always figure, you know, a little bit more is probably better. And the amount of times I use this, uh, fifth wheel. I probably do this maybe once a year, um, whether it needs it or not. Just a good preventative maintenance thing, because these landing gears, are, they're not cheap. And uh, God forbid something happens when you're trying to pack up at the end of the day and this thing binds up on you. You're, you're kind of in a, in a pickle. 
Okay, so we're all greased up good. I'm gonna go ahead and put this cap back on the way it was. It's easier if that lip is facing towards the shaft um, because you can use the shaft for leverage and it'll, it'll help you pop it off. All right, so this one's a little bit tougher to get to um, just because we have a regulator and a propane tank and all the hoses as well as the uh, shaft for the uh, landing gear that goes to the other side through the motor gear housing. So I went ahead and popped that cap off and we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. We're gonna spray a little bit of lubricant in there and we're gonna go ahead and grease her up and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back uh, doing this in uh, 90 degree South Florida weather. I had to go take a little beverage break, um, but we're going to take a look here at the shaft that goes to the uh, other side of the RV for the landing gear leg on the other side. So I lubed up this um, with some penetrating um, grease and uh, did the same thing on the other side over here. So those are all lubed up and uh, inside that case. You, if you want to, I've already I did it not too long ago. Um, you can pull that motor off, and there's some gears in there to, to lube up as well. Um, but like I said, I already did that not too long ago, so we're gonna skip that one for now. But it's pretty easy. You just take the the bolts off there. There's I think there's three of them. And that housing will pull out. And you can pack it full of grease. So now what we're gonna do? We're gonna go ahead and run the gear up and down. So this is, this is the last one we did, capped it after I finished greasing it up. So I'm going to go ahead and run the gear up and down. So as you can see in here, everything's running nice and smooth. All right, so it's blistering hot out here. It's over 90 degrees, sun's beating down on me. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day for today. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it gave you some information that uh, will enable you to uh, tackle this task on your own. It's not too difficult, maybe a little intimidating, but uh, on this 38 foot uh, Keystone, Montana, it went pretty smooth. Like I said, I've done it before. So I just thought I'd pass on some experience that I have with this and um, I'll go ahead and I'll make some more videos of different things that I've been working on on this and some future projects. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.